Bronzino, 1502 to 1572. He lived until he was 69 years old. His real name was Agnolo di Cosimo from Florence, or what they call Firenze in Italy. He is named as Bronzino for his bronze-like skin that some attribute to his having Addison's disease, which caused adrenal glands to produce too much skin pigment. Whether or not that's true, or they were just talking about his skin textures and his paintings, nonetheless, he was known as Bronzino. At 14 years old, he studied under Pontormo, who was nine years older and already a successful painter. They remained close friends until Pontormo's death in 1551. By 1539, at the age of 37, Bronzino became the court painter for Duke Cosimo di Medici of Florence, where he worked for most of the rest of his life, making primarily portraits of the Medici family and other notable important people in Florence. He became the premier portrait painter of Florence in his day and was well respected for his elegant detail of fabric and the garments worn by his noble sitters. He also produced some beautiful allegorical paintings as he was intrigued with the symbolism of some of the Greek stories. One in particular I've always enjoyed is called An Allegory with Venus and Cupid. It is a pretty good sized painting, 57 inches by 45 inches or 5 feet by 4 feet, and it's in the National Gallery in London. I've seen it and it was magnificent. It portrays centrally Venus and Cupid, Venus being the goddess of love, and Cupid being the element of desire. Cupid is grabbing the breast of Venus and obviously a sexual inference, disturbing to some, but so goes many Greek myths. In Venus's hand is a golden apple, one of the golden apples originally from the myth of Eris, throwing into the judgment of Paris and Paris's determination of the most fair maiden of the three graces. And finally, he chose Aphrodite, because she bribed him for the hand of Helen of Troy, the most beautiful woman in the world at that point, according to the legend. The golden apple is from the Garden of Hesperus, symbolizing the start of the Trojan War, and a symbol for something major is about to start. At the left is a figure called Jealousy, who is tearing out his hair. To the right is a Puto, a little guy, representing folly. The old man behind, with his arm outstretched, is Father Time. The prince's figure behind to the right has two hands that are reversed, if you notice carefully, representing deceit and treachery. 
Then in the foreground are the two masks representing tragedy and comedy. This is a complex painting and one I've always marveled at after seeing it in the London Museum. The skin tones are amazingly smooth and luxurious, just like most everything that Bronzino painted. The story of the painting? I don't know. I've never really grasped what it all means. But, as Robert Crumb, the cartoonist, once told Flaky Foot in a cartoon, it don't mean sheet. Still, it is a masterful painting I've always cherished. This has been another Naked Artist Exposure video, and we appreciate your comments and thoughts. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, as it does encourage us to make more of these. I am Preston McCall, and we thank you very much for watching.